Hey guys, it's me, Julian Greystoke. Today I'm wearing my writer sweater. Guys, I really feel like I am a true booktuber now because I have lights hanging on my shelf. I didn't buy these, someone was like throwing them out or something, so I was like, yoink. So now, now I am a real booktuber. It's for real, I have lights on my shelf. Anyway, today we're actually here to talk about writing. I am just going to be sharing with you my experiences with the beta process with my most recent book to go through the beta process called Boots. If you're curious about Boots, it is a Puss in Boots retelling. It's not a children's book, it is a YA full-length fantasy story. It's got magic, it's got swordplay, it's got old gods, it's got curses, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Nigel is here. The book doesn't have Nigel in it, but it does have a cat, so, you know, there's that. If you're curious about how I acquire beta readers, or a little bit about what beta readers are, I have videos, links in the doobly-doo to those. Nigel's tail is here to hit me in the face. Oh, Jane's here too! So, my experience with beta reading for Boots and kind of the conclusions that I came to about it after that. I started with about 20 beta readers, both friends and people that I had gotten online by posting various places that I was looking for betas, and I ended with approximately six. And I know what you're thinking, wow, that's a lot. But that is actually not all that unusual, especially if you're someone like me who does not have a lot of clout in the internet world. If you have to find randos online, randos is kind of what you get, but you take what you can get because you need beta readers. Also, of course, uh, some of my friends who were reading it did have to stop. Some of them were kind enough to let me know that they were stopping, for that I thank them very much. But some of them also didn't tell me, so if you're watching this and you beta to read for me again, just tell me next time if you have to stop. So let's talk about some of the things I liked and didn't like about this particular experience with the beta process. Uh, my first big mistake was not giving anyone a hard deadline. I was too lazy to look up when I initially asked for betas, but I believe it was the beginning of summer. And I thought to myself, well, you know, a lot of my betas are going to school, but it's summer, so they will definitely have time to read my book, and I don't need to give them a deadline because I'm not in a huge rush. And I figured I would get more betas if I didn't give them a hard deadline and kind of let them go at their own pace. But when that happens, then people kind of don't read it. That was my own fault, that is not the fault of my betas. If I don't make my book sound like a priority, it's not going to seem like a priority to them. Something else that I am working on is the questionnaire sheet that I will be sending out with each section. I send my book out in sections instead of the whole thing at once, unless someone requests the whole thing at once, because I feel that getting an entire book in your inbox can be very daunting for some beta readers. I sent questionnaires with each section and some of my betas reported back that the questionnaires really took them out too much and they didn't want to keep going because they had to keep stopping to answer all of these questions. Now I don't think I can get rid of the questionnaires completely. I did have other betas telling me that they would have never thought to, th to answer these things or to think of these things as they were reading unless I had asked them the questions. But I do think I need to tweak my question sheet so it's a little bit less extensive and maybe try to reword it so the questions are quicker and easier to answer for those people who are maybe just trying to just read and get an overall feel for it. But I finally gave my betas a deadline. I said by December, it's December now, and the ones who are going to get back to me I think have gotten back to me. Those of you who did read this book, if you're watching this, thank you so much you guys rock I cannot tell you how many people get back to me and they say don't be insulted uh, I, I'm just trying to help you I'm just critiquing and I'm like guys you don't understand I want your feedback negative positive whatever I want it as long as it is thoughtful and as well articulated as you can make it then I love it with all of my heart. I am not some delicate flower who's gonna get all weepy the second that you find a problem with my book. That's why I sent it to you. So what were the results? There's definitely some things I'm going to be changing, obviously, because if you get your beta feedback back and there's you're like, I'm not gonna change anything, then you're doing it wrong. Some of the biggest things are pacing. I have a little bit of a slump toward the middle of my book, but thanks to my betas, I already have ideas about how to 
punch that up and make it really engaging. The other big issue that the book has, I feel, is that the character of Joanna, the princess, needs to be calibrated slightly or not so slightly. Joanna is my favorite character, but Joanna is probably the most flawed character in the book. And I've noticed that I do this. I like to write characters that are very imperfect and potentially frustrating to the readers, which is good and bad. I think what I really need to do with Joanna is clear up a lot more of why she's thinking the way that she's thinking and why she does the things she does. Joanna is a very leap-before-you-look character. She is a princess, so she does have a little bit of that royal privilege going on with her, and she also has a lot of insecurities about having to be larger than life, and I don't think that's quite coming across. Everyone responded really well to the cat and his point of view. Everyone responded pretty well to the Miller's son Levi and his point of view. So other than a few tweaks within those scenes, I think Joanna's sections are going to be the ones that need the most work, but I'm excited to work on them. They're gonna take a really long time. But what are my plans for Boots when I'm all done editing after this beta section? I'm going to be sending it to an editor, copy editor, who I will be paying, who will hopefully get at least most of my spelling and grammatical errors. You guys, I am the world's sloppiest typer. Once I am finished editing Boots, I am going to start shopping it around to agents, you guys, with my first book, Phoenix, which you can purchase for yourself on Amazon, I decided to self-publish, but with Boots I am going to try to go the traditional route, and I am gonna succeed. Yes. I know part of the problem that I have as a writer is that I keep seeing, you know, published books that are out there, and in my brain I go, I'm as good as those people, I could be published, I'm as good as them, but then there's another voice inside my head that goes, no. You have to be better than them or no one's going to publish you. You have to be better than the majority of the published YA authors right now or no one is going to publish you. So that's a really tough voice to fight and it really wants me to just give up on Boots and start writing a different book, but I will not listen to it. Don't listen to the little voice that says you can't do it. <laughs> Okay guys, well this probably turned into a way longer video than I intended it to, but I just wanted to give anyone who cares an update on Boots and how that is going. It hasn't been abandoned. The beta process just took a really long time. I'm also editing the game to send two betas eventually. Yes, I'm editing two books at once. No, I don't recommend it. Why did I do it, Jane? Why? Anyway, guys, remember that I post new videos here Mondays and Fridays. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo down by Jane. If you're interested in reading my book Phoenix, links in the doobly-doo to that, as well as to my Wattpad where you can check out some of my work for free and get a feel for my style. Jane and I will see you again next time with whatever it is we happen to be doing next time. He just lets me do this. He's just floppy. Bye!